Hello guys, here is JNM with a new Godot tutorial in which I prepare the cutout animation for the 2D pirate. I cut the pirate image into pieces with Photoshop, so we have here the head, body, arms, legs, feet, everything on separate layers. Then I use a Photoshop feature to export these layers as images, therefore I just select File, Export, Layers to Files. I export the images as PNGs, select Trim Layers to get trimmed matching rectangles, and as a prefix for the files I choose Pirate underscore. Then I press Run to export them, and here they are in my directory, and as you can see the exporter did a very good job for trimming these images, so that we can use them directly in Godot. So here we are in Godot, and before I start to add my sprites, I reduce the opacity of the full image of the pirate, so that I can use it as a kind of background for positioning my separated body parts. The sprite has a property which is called Opacity, and I will reduce it to about 0.4. I will also disable the visibility of the capsule collision node, because we don't need it currently. And in the previous tutorial I scaled this pirate sprite down to 0.8, which is not a good idea. So I will undo this and scale it to identity, this means 1 for X and Y. Now we have the original size of the image and can use it as a background for positioning the cutout sprites, the separated body parts. I will rename this to pirate underscore old, then select the parent, the kinematic body 2D, and then I'm going to add the first sprite. This is the root sprite, the body. I will call this pirate. And now let's add in the body texture and drag it here to the texture slot. Then I select the move tool and you can position it according to the underlying background image. But what I also do here is to set the pivot point. For this I just hover with the mouse cursor over a certain position and then press the V key and then the pivot point for this body part is set. When I would rotate this image, it is rotated around this pivot point. Okay, now let's find the position according to the background. And then we will add the next sprite. Now I will add a child node to this body, to this pirate sprite. So I select it. And then I choose add child node. And again I select sprite. Then I move the image of the head to the texture slot. Set the pivot point. With the V key. Then position the head, and after that I will rename the sprite to head. Alright, now let's do the same for the upper right arm. Again, add a new sprite with the pirate as the parent. Rename this to arm underscore right. Then drag in the image of the upper right arm to the texture slot. Find the pivot point and move it to the position here at the shoulder. Okay, the same thing I will do for all the other body parts, so we'll speed up the video here. So we set it up, 
Now I select my kinematic body 2D and scale it to 0.8 because the pirate is a bit too large. Yeah, that's better. Now let me rescale the collision capsule to 30, 150. And the last problem we have to fix is the C order of the sprites. I start with the body, the pirate sprite, and set the C order to 3. And after that I will change the C order of all the other sprites relatively to the body. The head should be above the body, so I set it to 1, which means one more than the body. The arm should be also in front of the body, so I set it to 1. Be sure that this relative checkbox is checked. Then I move to the leg right. This should be behind the arm and behind the body. So I set it to minus 1. And now the left leg. This should be behind the body and behind the other leg, so I set it to minus 2. And I use the same value for the left arm, which should be in the background. Okay, we're done. The C order is correct. The sprites are positioned. But before we can use this sprite setup, we have to change the script a little bit. I used the method setFlipH to rotate the player when I changed the direction, but this won't work anymore because this function has no effect on the child sprites of this object, okay? So I will use the setScale method with a vector2d instead to flip the whole character. And now let's test this. And works really nice. Great guys, that's it for this tutorial. In the next one we will add bones to rig the character before we can go ahead and add animations like idle, walk, jump or attack. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and if you do then let me know and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And it would be just awesome if you could support me on my Patreon so that I can keep the quality and quantity of my videos. Thanks for watching this and see you soon.